our candidates for coming here today. You know, I'm a small business owner. You're looking at the entire company right here. And I'm one of the directors uh, at the BBT. And what we do is act as a bit of a conduit um, for the business community to counsel. And so what we thought today for the format was we would act as a conduit for the public to counsel. So we're so thrilled that everybody could be here today. Thank you very much. I'm going to explain a little bit the format because everybody is asking me, are, why isn't there 23 candidates sitting up here so I can ask everybody a question? Because we'd be here till midnight and I'm not going to be here until midnight. So we gave you the chance to ask your ward counselors a question um, earlier and they will be here after until about 9 o'clock so please take advantage of that. Also we are taping uh, questions with them, that's why you've seen them go into the back room there, sneak off, tape a little question. And you can look for that on the Bradford Board of Trade uh, website within a couple of days, Trisha, within a couple of days, she's nodding. So make sure you check out that as well. So we're going to start with questions right away. And the first question is going to go to Rob. Uh, let's talk about traffic, Rob. <laughs> it's been uh, number one on residents lists of issues for years, years. Also being talked about for years is the 400-404 bypass. Are there measures that can be taken, are there other measures that can be taken to tame traffic in town? And please specifically reference the downtown core in your answer. We have many businesses there who are very concerned about parking. Yes, uh, thank you for the question. And uh, yes, traffic and uh, traffic movement, I think, uh, Everybody that lives in town realize that, realizes that it is getting more of a serious problem. And uh, as Jennifer mentioned, the 400-404 link, we've been really uh, lobbying quite, quite, uh, quite extensively with the provincial government, and it is on the growth, growth plan. And uh, one of the ministers did actually uh, have a time frame, but it could be five years before it gets started. <coughs> And we realize that people want action right now. And there are things that we can do. Um, the way municipalities work, uh, you have a transportation master plan. And it's long uh, overdue that we do another uh, master plan for our transportation in our, in our area. I think it was 12 years ago when the last uh, transportation master plan was done. And we have to have innovative and creative ways of easing traffic. And uh, in the East End, there's the Peterman Road and going down to the Sixth Line, would that be an option, being able to come from Bridge Street that way? In the center of town, um, Holland Street, uh, a lovely section of our town, it sort of is the identity of our town, and uh, we, we need that uh, area preserved. But are there ways that we can get uh, uh, continuity in the lanes behind? Uh, behind the downtown core, Gap Lane, uh, uh, is there a way that the town can purchase land to be able to, to take that, that street over to Holland uh, Court? And there's other, other uh, areas behind the, the uh, parking areas of the downtown core that we certainly have to look at. And of course in the West End, uh, traffic light synchronization, we have to do a better job with that. Uh, we've tried uh, different, uh, different things but it still isn't good enough. And as well, there's areas that, that will be able to uh, connect some of the, uh, the plazas so that people don't have to come out on the Holland, Holland Street to go from, from one store to another and they'll be able to uh, uh, maneuver back and forth. And uh, the big thing, I guess, is getting this, the County of Simcoe and York Region involved as well. This is a regional issue with the, the amount of traffic that goes through our town. And it uh, is important that uh, uh, we look regionally to be able to find solutions. There are uh, a lot of uh, um, areas that, that uh, would make connections between York Region and, and Southern Central County. Can I interrupt you and we'll just open it up. Does, do either of our other two candidates want to take a crack at this? <coughs> Yeah, I, I uh, just wanted to comment that uh, we had a great deputation at our last council meeting from a resident, uh, Mr. Walsh, and I don't know if he's here tonight, but he did a great presentation to us about traffic, and it is a big concern. We're hearing it at the door, and as Mayor Kepper said, we've got, you know, we've got some things happening. We're working with the 
provincial government to create the 444 link, but that's too far off. That's five to seven years for, for what our residents deserve. We need something a little bit sooner. So getting in and out of Bradford is our biggest problem right now. Having that traffic in our community is another issue that we need to deal with. They're cutting through our neighborhoods. They're speeding through our neighborhoods. So we need to deal with that. And I think through the master plan, the study master, the, the master plan, transportation master plan, I think we can come up with a great idea, some great ideas to clean this up. The big thing we've done over the past four years is we actually had a traffic committee, which uh, many councillors, Councillor Bain, Councillor Lamb, Councillor Sandu, and Councillor Ferragini sat on that committee. And they dealt with concerns within our community. The best thing I think that we can get out of that right now is that they did car counts throughout our whole community. So we have, when you see those rubber bands on the road, we're doing car counts and speed counts. So just for the start of our master plan, we actually have a lot of data now on our traffic patterns within our community. So I think we can solve this problem, or at least get on this problem as soon as possible. We can up some quick solutions to help solve the speeding in our communities, the travel of people coming through our communities. Like Mayor Keffer said, there is uh, alternate routes that we can, we can start to look at. We built a great relationship with our, uh, with our, our community just uh, to the east of us, with the East Glenbury and, and uh, Mayor Haxon. Mayor Keffer and Haxon has talked uh, quite often about our road, so we can look at something through East Glenbury. And we've also had a great relationship with King, so uh, we might be able to do with King and have uh, Mayor Pellegrini work with us also. So this is a traffic issue that's probably throughout Ontario. I deal with it on the 400. I grab the 400 every day. It's, it's, a, it's a nightmare. We had a great meeting with uh, Minister Yakubuski yesterday at, at the Grand Opening of Karen Mulroney's office, and we had some good conversation with him. So Ms. Mulroney is doing a great job for this community. She has made every minister at the province aware of our concerns and our issues with the 444. So we look forward to seeing some results in the very near future. Thank you. Our next candidate, and just before you do, I want to encourage our candidates to just speak up a little bit. Feel free to jump in. The first person is going to answer the question, and then the other two, please jump in. Yes, we will jump in, but uh, I do respect Mr. Rob and uh, all the efforts he has done for the past four years. But the problem is that all the efforts they are doing, they are doing so many concerts, so many committees, people still have problems. We are trying to look for the long-term solution, but what is the short-term solution? I do work with Mr. Rob and I want to enhance the things, what the people could get in shorter time. For example, everybody knows that um, from 4 to 6 in the, in the evening and morning time, we have big traffic jam gridlocks from New Market to Bradford. Nobody is thinking about that solution. Nobody is thinking what the what the problem we have facing there. I am suggesting that we should looking for some short term solutions like we need some policing or some volunteers or some scouts like that who can monitor the traffic flow at that time to make steady flow after half a kilometer in the whole um, track of from New Market to Bradford it should be there. Same thing with the speeding. We have so many problems with the especially the school areas, we are getting that one. I admit that we need the 400 and the 404 link. It is a long-term project and they are doing very good on that one. But still we need the people, what they are facing. I know the problem is that it's not to make the plans and make the committees. People need the results. So my request is that we should go for the short-term solutions also to make it happen. So people are not facing, because we, sometimes people are, don't know what they are facing who are going every day to the new market at that time. So please, uh, we have to go for that agenda also for seeking the people suggestion how they feel how to make more comfortable for their travel from New Market to Bradford and even from Bradford to one area or very Thank you very much. Thank you.